In British political news, the Tories were trying to win over the youth vote this week. So, were they talking about student debt, housing, employment? No, they did this. Several Conservative MPs uh, are gathering today under canvas at a country estate in Berkshire that's been dubbed a Tory Glastonbury. <laughs> they had a Conservative Glastonbury. That sounds like a right laugh, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, my God, it's pandemonium. <laughs> I got shampers all over my genos. <laughs> you know they're going to try and come up with a Tory version of the Jeremy Corbyn song. Imagine that. Just some bloke in tweed. Theresa May! <gasps> Your Brexit's on fire! <laughs> They'll have a Tory grime artist. Just, <laughs> Labour's got Stormzy, but my name's Hugo. Which private school did you all go to? This Tory Glaster's gonna rock. We'll listen to Theresa, then we'll chase the fox. People are struggling, the country's in a mess. So let's destroy the NHS. All the other rappers come from the street. I love running fast through a field of wheat. <laughs> £10 million pounds of the Queen's private funds were invested offshore. The Duchy of Lancaster invested £7.5 million pounds in a fund based in the Cayman Islands. Why is the Queen's money going offshore? She's already got a tax haven. It's called Britain. <laughs> Her face is on the money. <laughs> she pays with selfies. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it just doesn't make any sense. I doubt she even uses money. If she runs out of change, she probably just does this. <laughs> now, the more you look into it, as I'm sure you've done, it gets stranger. Her money was in the Caymans, in an off-licence, and apparently she makes money out of a McDonald's in Oxfordshire. <laughs> just do 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 one's loving it. <laughs> please, please, please let Prince Philip be manning the drive-thru. <laughs> What do you want, you bastard? <laughs> huh? Huh? A McMuffin? That's what I give Liz a bell moral. <laughs> I shouldn't. No. <laughs> we shouldn't be joking because some of these investments are really sinister. It's also claimed that the duchy invested in the rent-to-own retail store Bright House, which has been accused of charging some of the UK's poorest people inflated prices. The Queen's involved in a shop that makes money by ripping off poor people. That's going to change the national anthem, for a minute. God save our gracious Queen, here's a washing machine <laughs> you can't afford. <laughs> if you don't pay debts, your house will be repossessed. Phil's gonna tee back your pet. <laughs> Fucking pay us now. <laughs> tea? Mm -hmm. Good lord. Keep your word. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking up. <laughs> it must be Wednesday. <laughs> Is tea for me? Oh, bless my corgis, there's a biscuit. <laughs> he loves life. He laughs at everything. I love these turkeys. They make me laugh so much. <laughs> <laughs> I love these turkeys. They should put them on live at the Apollo. Gobble, gobble. I mean, you can't write that. He's like old MacDonald, just, Oh, Prince Charlie had a farm. Why won't Mummy die? <laughs> <laughs> Elsewhere this week, there's been some mad Christmas stories. First up, terrible news. Archaeologists may have found Santa's skeleton. Or, as Newsweek put it, Santa is dead. <laughs> Well, I think we can all agree that's going to change the Christmas songs. They've eaten his head, they've eaten his toes, there's worms coming out of his eyes and his nose. Santa Claus is dead in the ground. <laughs> Kids like that. Ah! Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer was out of work and really screwed. The elves came along with mincers and ground him up into dog food. <laughs> one more, one more. Right? <laughs> 
Jingle bells, Santa smells, cause he's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> the stench is so unbearable, there's maggots in his head. Hey! <laughs> I really had a lot of fun writing those songs. Unbelievably, a team of scientists found out most of the world's potatoes are severely depressed. <laughs> How do they know? <laughs> a potato's crying. You open in a bag and they're like, all around me are my, <laughs> my mashed up brothers, <laughs> chipped up lovers, <laughs> roasted mother. <laughs> you people find it funny. I find it really sad. You people call it dinner, but that's my fucking dad. <laughs> Sad spuds. <laughs> Did anyone see these esteemed thinkers? For all of the people of the uh, United oh, Kingdom, the Queen not just the 52% who voted for Brexit. <laughs> anyway, the Queen. fuck the Pope. Hope you've enjoyed it tonight. Was always a <laughs> oh, well, no. We're out of here. Good night. Leaving Brexit on a Friday, but. <laughs> Some Jaegers, then we'll start a fight. <laughs> Thought I farted, but it was a shine. <laughs> I think I will call it a night. <laughs> Seriously, Dave, I shit myself. US kindergartens are now teaching nursery rhymes to prep kids for school shooters. It's insane. Rather than banning guns, they're teaching children. Nursery rhymes. Yeah, that'll work, won't it? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Grab your gun, lock and load, and shoot them in the spleen. <laughs> uh, miss, shouldn't we beat the psychers on the bus? Go bang, 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 <laughs> all day long. Jack and Jill went up the hill to get a better vantage point. <laughs> it's utterly ludicrous. But if they are going to be taught one, this is how it should go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, 4,000 deaths this year so far. Surely something must be done. Donald, please stop acting dumb. Why won't he do more than pray? Because he was given 30 million by the NRA. <laughs> <laughs>